the Google Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro has had quite the rocky launch. I personally had to go through an RMA when the device bricked after following the official downgrading process. Then there are people who have been experiencing repetitive connection drops to their mobile data. And recently we're seeing something similar with the February over-the-air update and the phone's Wi-Fi connection. Now while I cannot offer any solutions to these connection issues, since Google is working to fix them, I can help some of you who have experienced poor battery life. With the Pixel 6 series, Google has opted to have Samsung fabricate their system on a chip, and in doing so, they have opted for Samsung's modem as well. This modem will certainly get the job done, but it's not the most efficient cellular modem out there. And this is made even worse for those who are using their phones on a new 5G network. So today, I want to remind everyone of a hidden Android feature that can help allevi alleviate some of this battery drain by preventing the phone from maintaining a cellular connection while you are on a Wi-Fi network. Now a few years back, Android made a change to how it handles a mobile data connection when it detects you're connected to Wi-Fi. See, before, it would pause that mobile data connection because the team wanted Android to preserve as much battery as possible. But over time, the wireless providers began preferring these mobile data services stay connected so that it's quicker for things like voice over LTE. And that's how Android has been set up since around eight, the version 8.0. So when the core Android operating system began preserving the mobile data connection, even while you're connected to Wi-Fi, the developers added a hidden toggle that will let you change things back to how they used to be. Now we can access this feature on the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro by opening up the settings application and then diving into the secret developer options menu. Now if you haven't enabled developer mode on your phone yet, be sure to check the video description below as I'll have a link to a tutorial on my channel that shows you how to access it. But once developer mode is enabled, you will see this developer options menu within the system submenu. And when we go in here, we're going to see a number of experimental features, but we're also just going to see some hidden features as well. So as we scroll through this list, you're going to see a networking section and in there, you're going to see an option with a toggle labeled mobile data always active. Again, this toggle should be enabled by default and it will always keep your mobile data active even when Wi-Fi is active. And generally this is for fast network switching, like I mentioned for those who use voice over LTE. But this also can eat up a lot of your battery life. So if you want, we can come into the developer options menu toggle this feature off and then when Android detects you are connected to Wi-Fi it will go ahead and shut off that mobile data connection. In turn that's going to save you a fair bit of battery. The amount of battery life that it will actually save you will depend on how you use your device. For instance if this happens a lot for you if you are on a Wi-Fi network for most of the day then you could see a considerate amount of battery saved by toggling this feature off since it's going to turn that mobile data connection off when you are on Wi-Fi. But again, this is going to make things like network switching a little bit slower, so you could notice some hiccups along the way. As always though, we can come right back into the developer options menu and turn this feature back on if you're not liking how the change has made your phone perform. 
So again, this is a feature that's been tucked away within Android for many years now. Most people leave it on, but a lot of people who want to preserve as much battery life as possible have always gone into the developer options menu to disable this feature since Android 8 because they did not like the change.